Uh, hello friends today in this tutorial i will be showing you that how to download a remote image from a remote server using axios so basically this is an application you can see that there is a download image button if i click it a image will be downloaded as an attachment you can see that file.jpg so if i open this image you can see that this is the image random image is generated i am using unsplash api for the images so if i again download image so you will see that a different image will be downloaded every time i download a random image will be shown to me so for building this application first of all we need to delete all the code just create a index.html file and here you just need to give it a title of uh, download image using axios and in the body we will be having a simple button and it will be having a on click attribute so when we click the button we will be executing this custom function which is download and the label will be simply we download image now if I refresh the application you will see that nothing happens if I click this button because I haven't defined the function so first of all you need to go to Google and type here Axios CDN so we will be including the Axios library so just type Axios CDN and the very first link which comes in just go to this link and here you just need to include the library so just copy this link of CDN and now you just need to make a script tag here and the source will be equal to the CDN link that we have copy pasted so just include it so now the Axios library is included and now we need to write the custom JavaScript so here we will be writing the function which we have defined on the on click download so once you press the button so first of all in this we just need to initialize axios here and we just need to pass some options first option will be url so what url that you will be requesting the image from so this will be source dot unsplash dot com slash random and the dimensions of the image so here you can just provide any dimensions i am providing 500 uh, comma 500 so this is a URL and second argument is takes is the method so we this is a get request and the third will be response type so basically the response type is generally for images so this is a basically a blob because this is kind of image so now we just need to handle the response which is coming here inside dot then so this returns a promise so here it returns the response here and now in in this response we now first of all need to have our uh, construct the url so here we can just initialize the url like this so we can just use the function which is there inside window dot url dot create object url and then we will be initializing in that new blob and we will be passing here response dot data so this is our URL is ready and now we just need to create our anchor element link element so we can just create it by document dot create element method so this will dynamically create our anchor element and now we just need to manipulate the href attribute to the link so just redirect to the link here like this so after this guys you just need to after redirecting it you also need to set some properties here like this link dot uh, set attribute there is a method here and there is a attribute of download so you need to give a file name so i will be giving as file name as uh, let's suppose image dot uh, jpg so after that you need to add this to your body so we will be using the document dot body dot append child and we will be adding this element link which is anchor element and lastly we just need to click it so we will be invoking this click method that's it so this is the code guys so now if I refresh the application if I go back to the application like this so it is saying that on line 17 we have made a mistake 
so let me just let me just remove this parenthesis here response let me just see if it is takes a response here just wait guys let me just see why what, what is the problem here uncaught here let me just see oh sorry this is an arrow function so we need to put an arrow here like this that's it so this is a this was a problem guys so we just need to wrap it inside its own parentheses like this so that was the error now the error is gone so just put a parentheses here like this so this was was the error so just make this change and now if i refresh the application where was the application so if i refresh it now no error is taking place if i click download image so you will see that a image will be downloaded with the name of image.jpg if i open this If I again click on download image I think that we have uh, made a mistake here this is let me just check if the URL is correct or not if I go to this URL you will see the image is coming Mm, let me just see there is an error here if I copy this code here and just delete it here and just so you see so since I have written the same code but just pause the video and just uh, change this code to this one file.jpg so just change this code guys pause the video and now if I refresh it hopefully this will download the file if I click download image if I click open this image you will see that the image is coming so just pause the video write the code here create object URL and uh, this was the whole code in order to download images from the internet using XCO. So thanks so much for watching this video.